alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Abneki Janin, a very special program today on Channel S. Now, today we are looking at and trying to learn about deafness and how it impacts our deaf community. Alhamdulillah, we live in a community, in a society where we hear, we benefit from this blessing. But there are so many people in our community, in our wider community, in our local community, who can't hear. Or they find it very difficult to hear, hard of hearing. Al-Ishara are a charity who work with deaf and hard of hearing people. And they try and make local services accessible for them. Services such as spiritual services, employment services, marriage services. And so that whatever barriers they may have because of their lack of hearing, they are able to access those services and try and live as much of a normal life as possible. Alhamdulillah, as we have done a special show. As we have done a special show. Deaf run event, Iktai Killa, Alishara Charity, Resha Johorse, Ali Amra Baibunan Ze Huntafaroina, Tararik, Eventicla Sai Jorse, Octo Amra Matino. So today's show, we have a lot of, um, it's, it's quite an historical show in my opinion, because it's the first time, as you can see on the screen, it's the first time we have a live BSL interpreter signing this show. Okay, this is live. So uh, that's the first big one. Secondly, we will have the Adhan, even though the Adhan time has been called, we will have a live performance of the Adhan very shortly in sign language. And thirdly, another historical moment, we will have B Nasheeds actually recited, uh, signed in BSL in front of you, okay, for the very first time. So there's a lot for you to actually uh, look out for in this show. So please make sure you don't go anywhere for the next hour and a half because we will be looking at Deaf Run how it's impacted our community, how it's educated our community, and how it's ensured that that excitement year on year has happened. This is the fifth year that Al Ishara Charity will be hosting this event, and we are here today to try and understand more about it. Alhamdulillah, asko afnara shamde, okay? Amlar boi ne zone thain ishara dia mi zeta khoyran okta buzaira. So ikta kunu din hoyse na chano leso asko ilo foila thain. Also, alhamdulillah, asko amlar boi ne zone thain ishara dia azan khoyba. So Azan Amrar Hunchi, Magribur Azan Asi, Arba the show start we say, but as Kutain Lani Ishara Dia Tain as uh Azan also Huiba. Our Tin Lombor, Amrar uh young group here, Tara uh Ishara Dia Duita Nashid, Islamic Nashid, Tain Lani Ishara Dia Afnara de Hai Basku. So Afnara are their gonta program, Afnara Tahba, Horbana, Kotoda special asku inshallah dehba. So I'll start by introducing some of my guests. Okay. Um I'll start from my right. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Brother Altaf. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for coming on the show. Now, tell me a bit about Al Ishara Charity. How did Al Ishara Charity come about? When did it start? And how, w how did you get involved with the charity? Well, it started back in 2008. So, well, coming up to 10 years in a, in a couple of years' time. Uh, and it started with a concern, a need within the deaf community. Um, there are a few uh, deaf uh, brothers and sisters uh, and parents of deaf children who felt a need for there to be Islamic education provided for our deaf brothers and sisters, both children and adults. And that's how it initially started in 2008. Uh, it started initially with the children's class and then uh, it went on to uh, organising the Juma Khutbah to be interpreted into sign language and for adult classes as well. Uh, and then you know we've organised things like uh, Deaf Umrah, I sure think three, three, four times now. Okay. Uh, sure and uh, looking to do de Deaf Hajj next year. So uh, yeah, just uh, remember us in your du'as and mm -hmm. support us and spread the word. You know, I think the biggest thing is mm. to create that awareness in the community that mm. there is this service available. Uh, available. Sure. Uh, so now uh, on your right is your son yes. uh, Saifullah, who is. Uh, Deaf yes, himself. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I just start off by salam in Saifullah? Salam alaikum Saifullah. Okay. How are you? Mashallah. Saifullah, tell me, um, you 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 attended the Ali Shara Islamic School to learn about Islam. Tell me about your experiences going to a deaf Islamic school.
I learned a lot, a, a lot about Islam. It was really, really empowering. And it was a new and different way to learn about Islam, but also to see my life. It changed my life as well. I learned about the five pillars of Islam. That was really important, of course. Mm -hmm. Learned about fasting. And also learned about the Sunnah. So, so many interesting things that I managed to learn through my experience with Al Azara. Also, I managed to meet plenty of other deaf people in the same community. Brilliant. Now, Saifullah, I'm going to come back to you in a moment because I know you're going to sign the Adhan for us okay so that's very exciting something exciting to look forward to I'll come on my left uh, start with you uh, Mahfuz okay well how are you doing Mahfuz okay so Mahfuz tell me about what what made you want to join a charity like Ali Shara firstly because even like even watching Saifullah today sign on TV it's just on a Bengali channel and a Muslim channel it just it's making me teary almost mm. because this Please is the don't first cry. I won't cry. We want to be happy. <laughs> not to it's, cry. Like, it's the first time something like this has ever happened, and it's 2016. We've had TV for so long. <coughs> We've had programs and channels like this for so mm. long. This is the first time it's happened. Wow. So when I first heard about Ali Shara, I didn't know this existed. I didn't know deafness existed. Mm. So when I was approached to join the team. I was like, yes, definitely, mm. I can do something. I can, even if it's holding a bucket and raising some money, that's something. Mm. So I want to do something. So that's what made me join it. Mm, amazing. Now, uh, Abdul Rahman, okay, mashallah, I'm aware that you're, you've recently joined the charity, is that correct? Yep, okay. in the last few weeks. Few yeah. weeks, mashallah, so yeah. a new recruit. Um, so how would you say your experience has been and what, what drew you into a charity like Alishara who deals with uh, deaf and hard of hearing clients? Well I mean I've, I've, I had a friend who was involved and I was always aware of it for a few years but what really drew me in was when I came to your deaf dinner last year and you know I heard the stories of the brothers and sisters that you've helped and that really moved me because I never realized the kind of you know the things they go through and more importantly kind of the way that Alishara has helped you know help them to understand Islam better and I thought mm. that's a brilliant cause to be a part of. Sure. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what moved me to get involved and help. Okay. Um, so where possible we're going to try and, sp uh, you know, swap between English and Bengali on this show. So Mahfuz, I want to ask you a deaf run event. What do you think about it? And what do you think about it? Okay, so deaf run is a fast push for the Arab boys. I am going to join the Muslim Ali Shara. I am going to join the Muslim Ali Shara. I am not joining because I am not going to join the community. But I am not going to join the community. I am not going to join the community. I am not going to join the community. So I am not going to join the community. Price show more melee, both manchure, logane. Some doesn't have I'm no longer similar to Chotam. But I'm not having melala and Kotam Saints Islam. I'm not Islam a monarch in Shortam, the Manshe de Kia Barbarita Sanohoi, Sanohoi, Zanohoi Naki, to Maragi, even Takizaita. So I'm no different and Bosio Harone. I even to Afnara Faiba, Zara Huntefar and Zara Nahuntefar and Echloge, Shoman activity horror. Okay, take us, Mashallah. Before we go any further, uh, uh, Brother Altaf, is it? Can we get Saifullah to inshallah um, do, the uh, do the other one? Yeah, okay. inshallah. To your audience at home? Yes, inshallah. <coughs> you ready? Inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاه 
حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله. ما شاء الله. Amazing. سبحان الله. أنا غرزة إكتا هون شوي. ما يبلغ مغربه رخت. كلاتوش ميتها Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allah ke ar borog khew nai. I khota zudi endani apne hunda parta na. Apna ra kila laglone. Sinta khoriya dekho ka. Kub bad laglone. Apne Allah re zindani uto borog ta jinish Allah khota khor. Ikta apne hunda par soinna. Alhamdulillah. Amra alisha charity. Tain tain azan kila ishara dia khoin. Okta tain tain translate khot soin. Ar tain tain charity kila Islam kila khads. আমরা খাল বাইবেল নাইন থেকে হুনতা পারুন না খুশ হয় হুনতে তারার এক ক্লাসে জোহরা যায় ওখটা হয় সো সুবহান আল্লাহ ব্রাদার্স এন্ড সিস্টার্স হু আর ওয়াচিং অ্যাট হোম উই জাস্ট হার্ড দ্য বিউটিফুল রিসাইটেশন অফ দ্য কোরআন অফ দ্য আযান সুবহানাল্লাহ এন্ড উই হ্যাড সাইফুল্লাহ রিসাইনিং ইন সাইন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ নাও থিংক अबाउट টেক আ ফিউ মোমেন্টস টু রিফ্লেক্ট এন্ড থিংক ইমাজিন ইফ ইউ কুডন অ্যাকচুয়ালি হিয়ার দ্য আযান ইমাজিন ইফ ইউ কুড নট হিয়ার দ্য বিউটিফুল ওয়ার্ডস Okay, glorifying our Creator. How would that make you feel? Just reflect and ponder. Allah is the greatest. Okay, you're giving the most highest attribute to Allah. But imagine if you couldn't hear that. So that would mean you wouldn't know what that meant. So, in essence, you wouldn't know who Allah is. And this is the work that Al-Ishara Charity do. They propagate, they educate about what it means to be deaf. Uh, and try and understand that Islam, even if you are deaf, but you can understand, then you need to learn about Islam because we all know it's a fard, okay? It's compulsory upon every uh, hearing person to learn about the religion. Um, Mahfouj, going back to you, there's people at home yeah. who have been, I'm sure they've been inspired, okay? Because me just w uh, sitting here, I can't wait for the event to start. So tell us, okay, um, when is the event? The event is, if you don't know, I'm surprised you don't, it's next Saturday, uh, starts at 10 o'clock, yeah. finishes at 6 p.m. A day full of various challenges, starting from 10 o'clock on the dot, we've got the men's race. Mm. At 11, we've got the um, women's race. Sure. Then as soon as that's over, you come back to the main park and you have the various inflatable challenges. This year we've got a 100 foot assault course. We've got the last man standing. If you've got friends, come. this is the, the one to go to. Yeah. I remember doing it last okay. year. Now, Abdurrahman, tell me, um, what are you, I've heard there's something about the hot wings challenge. Yep. So what's that, is that something that you'll be, are you, will you be eating hot wings? Pers per me, yeah? personally, no. Okay, um, so how will that work? Yeah. I, like, so we have a um, company come in and they bring the hot wings yep. and brothers sign up and they have to try and eat like they're as many crazy. As they can. Oh, yeah, they have to try and eat as many as they can. Wow. And then there's a prize at the end for if you get through the plate and I don't think many people do because uh. they're like crazy hot. Okay, now, uh, Altaf, uh, Brother Altaf, tell me uh, this. I've, I've, I've done that before. You, you've done it. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've got someone on the show who, who, who can tell us first-hand experience. Oh. So, so how hot is are the hot wings? Surely well, they can't I, be that I, hot, right? I, I didn't, well, you know. So if, 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 we, if, we try and give, if we try and give our audience at home just a rough idea, okay? So yes. say a normal hot, hot wings that we can yes. buy at a fried shop, okay? Yes, yes. Say, you know, compared to that, how many levels hotter is that wing? I, I to, to be frank with you, I I uh, I, I felt it afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not the right one. I was eating it. Okay. The hotness, yeah? Okay, <laughs> mashallah. Now tell me this, how many were you able to finish? And I'm sure Mahfouj will verify Ooh. here. Right, okay, I can't remember. Saifullah, how, how many did I eat? Do you remember? He, he's got better memory than <laughs> I have. It becomes what, vague. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, me, me. How many did I eat? A lot? No, I think Saifullah was too smart to actually even try. That's probably <laughs> why. Daddy no, had it. Oh, I didn't. He said I didn't win. Okay. You did second. Second. Okay. So you didn't come First. second. 
No, no, no. You okay. I'm that. Mashallah, I, I like the honesty. Okay, even though you're live on TV <laughs> well, and you could have said, look, no, I said I was one. four, four, fifth. That's like, more likely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. So, brother Altaf, tell me this. You know, when, what made you want to take part in that? I'm sure it's not just about stuffing yourself with hot wings. I'm sure you oh, know. No, no, yeah. so tell me, what, how does that? Uh, I think. That uh, part of the event, um, I think stages. the competitiveness, you know, to be a part of a comp competition, the challenge, yeah. uh, you know, and getting some free hot wings. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. That wasn't part of it. But no, yeah, and the challenge and the competition and also, you know, raising good money and yeah. good publicity for, for the work which uh, yeah. Alishara does because... Yes, it can be a bit of fun, and the, the, the day has a lot of fun and a lot of activities for the mm. kids and for families to come out and enjoy themselves. But there's a serious uh, thing to it as well, which is providing services for our deaf brothers and sisters mm. uh, and making sure they have access to learning Islam, uh, which unfortunately, uh, in a lot of our mosques and a lot of our centres up and down the country, we are not providing that. So it's uh, and, it and the interpreters do cost, raises that profile, raises the awareness. Sure. So if people know p family or friends who are deaf, they can refer them to or tell them, you know, that there's this organisation mm. which provides this service. But also interpreting is not something which comes cheap. Yeah, you know, sure. it costs money. So, so through uh, this event, through this event, it raises. Yeah. So tell me this, you know, going back to the hot wings. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I think it's maybe because it's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm focusing a bit more on the hot wings. Yes. Um, how many how many people do you have taking part in that? Well, wow. last year, last time when I took part, I think there was oh, half a dozen or wow. up to a dozen at the yeah. same time. At the same time. At yeah. the same time. Yeah. And do you have people? Obviously, I assume there's different people who give up at different stages. Yes. yes okay. Yeah. And how does the and do you have is this done in a secluded place or is it? Done oh no no, you have got like loads of people around so you watching and then chewing you on. <laughs> okay. So, so, yeah. so so how many people <laughs> roughly attend the death run? Would you say? Oh, uh, I think my fools will have a better idea. In the thousands, I, I would say roughly about five thousand people attend. Wow. So and that was last year. So, so what we're saying is, there are people who volunteer, and this is not this is not something that they're forced to do. Mm. They volunteer to have super spicy hot wings, okay, in front of thousands of people. Yeah. Okay. It's you know, what, I think I think that's <laughs> something that I think everyone who's watching this program needs to go and see. Okay, and I guess if you win, it's brilliant. But if you yeah. don't, thousands of people are witness to the exactly. fact that you couldn't exactly have hot food. And I'm sure there's quite a few viewers who are ready to tuck into the nuggers and yeah. the um, chili so curry. So, what would so be if you had to promote in. that part of the yeah. event? What would you say, Mahfouz, to people who are watching? You know what? The best way to promote is I've done it last year, and I would say, come take me on. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do it this year. Okay, Mahfouz, did you do it this huh? year? I came second. I came second, but you know what? It's about taking part. It's about yeah? taking it's part. It's like Brother Altaf didn't win either. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, Defran or... Uh, you beat me. Defran or... Doro or... I'm not... Hot Wings Challenge. So, Gorom Hot Wings is a great deal. And... I'm not sure if you have a lot of people who are going to eat and eat and eat. And... I'm not sure if you have a lot of people who are going to eat. Yep. Okay. I'm going to eat. I'm not sure about Zal Kali Kai, so it's not a show by ya. I'm 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 not a show by ya. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, that's a very nice point to end on. Okay, so for the first segment, that is the end of this segment. Please stay with us uh, because after the break, we will have people who have taken part in the run itself and also people who are involved with the bazaar who will come and speak to you about why you should come. After we have a break, we have a break for the Amra Matimu. Deaf run door zekta. Ikta na nikhe khoroin manchor kila lakse gato bachor khorsoin elagor bachor khorsoin. And amra bazaar area. Bazaar area madhe kiki jinish pesa hoy. So after that, please amra lagat akpa. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.